and welcome to episode 11 of New Quest Chronicles. Now I thought we might start off by having a quick nose around um, Richard's house um, because it just appeared from nowhere so we'll have a a little look see what uh, what sort of a house it is. A bit of a tiny kitchen uh, but then I suppose if there's only one of you then uh, you don't really need a huge kitchen. And then through to the living room quite tastefully decorated I think I'll let you into a secret I've actually modeled this on my own house so uh, anybody who knows me and who's been over there they'll recognize all this through here to the conservatory now look at that there's a cat feeding bowl there's a cat litter tray scratching post now Richard in this game doesn't actually have any cats but he does open his house up to any random stray cats that happen to come along and then we've got a little patio area there. Nice view outside. It's quite a nice day there. So anyway, that's the downstairs. Now if we just pop upstairs. Ooh, bit of a dark hallway. I don't think I put a light in, never mind. Um, anyway, there's the spare room. Any overnight guests? Then through to the bathroom, not a lot you can say about a bathroom. Bath shower, toilet, sink, pretty standard really. And then we pop through here and this is the master bedroom. Oh. <laughs> Gelma. Now, Richard Gelma used to live <laughs> in Oasis Springs, <laughs> so he does know a few people in the village, um, particularly <laughs> Sammy, Linda and oh, Hannah, huh? so uh -huh. they've gone out for the meal for a bit of a catch-up and everybody's saying, oh, oh so glad you've moved to New Quest, we're going to have lots of fun <laughs> times, we're going to have a right laugh. Oh. These have probably known each other a fair few years now. Um, but he doesn't really know many people who also live in Newcastle, so he's got to be sort of introduced to them over a period of time. But he's quite a sociable chap, so I don't think that'll be a problem. So the meal's winding up a little bit now. Oh, but toy Skiba. Sort of being overtaken by those uh, couple of people on the other table, but never mind. Finalibo. Oh, Whoa. Linda's been a usual fussy self and not liking the food. But I dare say she'll still finish it. I thought for a bit of a treat, we'd follow Mariah to school. If you remember the idea of her moving to New Quest is because the schools over at Oasis Springs weren't brilliant and now she's a teenager Fred and Nobby wanted to see if they could uh, make sure she gets like the best education but it seems that she's losing a bit of direction yes she's still attending school she's attending the classes but as you can see she's not particularly interested in what's going off then even over on computer studies, she really doesn't feel like she needs to be there. She's starting to question the subjects that she's taking, wondering if she's made the right choices. So for now, she's just going to go with the flow and just plod along. I don't know how much longer this is going to go on for, though. So she decides to have a chat with the counsellor, who is a, quite a, a straight-talking chap. Doesn't take any nonsense when he's saying, look, just sort yourself out. You know you're making the right choices, and if you don't do your education, then what sort of a future are you going to have? 
Boonlay Nagelnish Mooney Newboon Shorg Brob. Huh. <laughs> Quixie. She says, Dilbert. yeah, I guess you're right. Hifatal Bavangi. Fimba Yanifab. Retinu. Uh, Appreciate the chat. Me. Thanks very much. So let's go and see how Jack and Hannah are getting on. He's invited around for something to eat. He's got an idea. Or a suggestion. Not quite sure how she's going to take it though, but if you don't ask, you don't get. Oh, started off with a flirt, so that's always a good thing. Charm, Oh, Badish. So I know. We're getting on really well now. <laughs> so I just wondered if you want to, of course. If you fancy moving in. <laughs> Oh, the answer's yes. Right, straightforward thing to do in Sims. There we go. Household split and merge. Pop Hannah over to Jack's house. Take your funds with you as well. And hey, presto. Hannah is now living with Jack. However, I think they need a bigger house. So Jack's told Hannah to look on the internet and see if she can find a nice house to move into. Now, I think it's in Sims World. All you do is select a house and it will miraculously appear where the existing house is. Don't believe me? Well, this is what happened 20 minutes later. A nice new big house. Plenty of room. Plenty of room for two, probably plenty of room for three, or maybe four, we'll have to see. <laughs> so, we are getting very close to the first New Quest wedding. So Nadine's invited a few friends over for a bit of a... I don't know. Do you want to call it a hen night? We'll call it a hen night anyway. Favourite restaurant. Just a few friends chatting away. It's getting quite exciting because um, obviously we've got Nadine and Ben's wedding. And we've also got Stephen and Will's wedding to sort out as well before long. Um, still not too sure about Cheryl and Glenn. We'll have to see. But can I just say, how lovely does Nadine look? Looking completely different with the hair or like that, and I think we might use that look for when she gets married. Now over on the other side of town, Ben is having his stag do as well. When I say stag do, he's invited a couple of girls over as well, but uh, that's fair enough. I can see... Uh, his niece Dusty there, and um, I think that's his housemate opposite as well. Oh, they've invited Richard over as well, which is rather nice. So, we're going to look forward to soon. Probably not this episode, probably the next. We'll have to see. Tess has popped over to see Linda. She's having a bit of frustration, is Linda. She said, do you realise we are the only two single people in New Quest? Because even though Sammy lives on her own, she's got a boyfriend over where she's from. So I dare say we'll be seeing him soon. But what, what should we do? Tessa said, well, have you tried a dating app? Because I was feeling like you and then I've got this dating app. And I've been on like five dates so far. It's brilliant. And Cheryl's like, and um, Linda's like, well, I'm not too sure about this. I've not really gone down that track. So uh, Tessa said, well, give it a try. You've got absolutely nothing to lose. Anyway, I'm off. Where are you going? I'm off on a date. 
So, oh, <laughs> Linda decides to bite the bullet. Oh, uh -huh. And she's been paired with this chap called Paul. <laughs> so, decides to meet him in a neutral ground, which is the local park. <laughs> it's not going too badly, but even though it's quite late at night, there's quite a lot of people milling around. And it's not particularly good on conversation either. She seems to be doing all the talking. He's just making a few corny jokes. And even though they only met five minutes ago, the conversation's already gone a bit stale. Oh, there's Stephen running through them. That's good. <laughs> so look, let's go and sit down. Have a little chat. And the conversation does seem to be going a lot better now, which is good. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Linda still doesn't like the food by the looks of things. But yeah, they do seem to be getting on quite well. So maybe this dating nap isn't too bad after all. Oh, <laughs> This one. I think we could be going somewhere with this. Well, they're making sure they laugh anyway, she's always good. Naturally, they have to take a selfie. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, now then. <sighs> oh no. Paul is an alien in disguise. <laughs> now what's Linda going to do now? Ebony <laughs> Dorfa. You know, Sneeb, Hispa, oh. uh, Zigafoni. Oh, now, this is a bit so awkward for Linda. Does she date an alien? She'd never <laughs> even thought about it before. <laughs> I think Paul's just sort of hovering in the background thinking, well, she's not really reacted to uh, knowing that I'm an alien. So, uh. Oh, Linda's disappeared. She has disappeared <coughs> straight back to the House of Doom and she's saying to Tessa, oh my God, you'll never guess what happened. I got this date and it turned out to be an alien. So Tessa said, well, you know what? Does that really matter? Do you like him? And she said, well... Yes, he was he was fine. So Tess says, look, <clears throat> leave it for now, but tomorrow morning give him a call. So Linda trots off home. Got a lot to think about, but she's tired. What would you do in her position? Meet somebody nice, but it turns out to be an alien. Food for thought. So the next day, Linda is trying to take her mind off things, shoveling a bit of snow. But it is playing on her mind a bit. But one thing she didn't do is she didn't get his number. So the only way she can try and track him down again is to go back on the dating app and see if she can find him on there. So she's just scrolling through all the faces, trying to find Paul again. He's got to be on here somewhere. Aha! There he is. Let's arrange to meet him again. Uzi. So Linda said, look, I'm, I'm really sorry about disappearing yesterday. 
but I did get a little bit freaked out when uh, I found out you're an alien, and I know it shouldn't bother me. It really shouldn't bother me, but can we just sort of have a chat and see how we get on and, and see if I can get my head around all this? And Paul's like, yeah, no problem. It's not a problem at all. It's going to sit on the bench. And we'll have a good chat, OK? Zigafoni. No. Oh, it's that head thing again, but it's like, well, you know what, if, if we're going to go dating, then I've got to get used to this. So, I'll accept it, and this is what's going to happen every now and again. So, Paul's like, you know, it's okay, you know, I know it takes a lot of getting used to, but I'm sure we can work on it, I'm sure we'll be fine. So, Linda asked that question, so, you know, you are single, aren't you? <laughs> oh dear. Paul is married. So much horror. And Linda is you furious. How, how dare you string me along? How dare you go on these apps, oh. pretending that you're single, and it turns uh, out uh, that you're married? Uh, <clears throat> and Linda is not letting this drop. She is furious. How could I have wasted all this time? Just go away and leave me alone. And Paul, no, I'm sorry, can we not just talk, can we not just like be friends or something, you know, is that okay? Linda's like, what? Oh, just no. go. And with that, Paul goes off with a flea in his ear. Don't think internet dating is right for Linda. 